Hi again. Um, this is the gel Epsom salt cell placed in a liquid container of Epsom salts. It's the same cell from the gel Epsom salt video the day after. Um, the only thing different with this cell is I wrapped the carbon sheet in this paper towel just to isolate it a bit better and I've been charging it now for two hours at 2.06 volts and the milliamps is sort of just been around that been up to about 90 I think so we'll attempt to run this motor on the cell gel cell soaked in its electrolyte so it's a wet cell and um, I'll just disconnect the charging we'll see what the voltage is okay it's dropping down we'll hook up the load and um, see how long the load lasts for okay it's running holding better voltage it's 0.4 compared to the last run as just being a gel cell after two hours the cell was still cold there was no bubbling hardly it was like the odd bubble and the motor's still going we're dropping there 0.38 milliamp reading Set on the 200 range, 16.7.6, motor's still going, So the other gel cell after two hours lasted I think probably about five minute run time. We're probably heading into a minute. motor is still drawing about the same as it was in the previous video I can hear some bubbling I don't know if we can see anything nope. I lost the other lead off the terminal bad soldering I'm pretty sure it's the um, Guinea's can, cool drink cans and stuff. I don't think they're a great source of aluminium. The new cell here is actually made out of a thicker piece of aluminium. Well, I've sort of lost count, but we're still at 0.35 volts. Doing well actually. I think the little cell wants to be made into a battery. It's begging. But then again, tomorrow might be a different story. It could be dead. But what's this? This is the second or third day of this cell's life with electrolyte on it. It's only, it's only Epsom salts, manganese, oxide, which I've now ran out. My jar's empty. I need to find some more batteries, wash the stuff. I soak it for about a week and then you can get the electrodes out easy. And then I scrape it out and I wash it. So 
I think it's been about three minutes. You can verify that later on the timeline. Still pulling 15 milliamps down to 0.35. Did the same. I hooked up the motor as soon as I put it in the water without a charge and never ran that at all. Voltage is holding well. On the twenty range. Hard to see. I might charge it up again later and see how long it runs that. May not have enough voltage for that motor. So I could probably fit three cells in that liquid. Yeah, I wonder if you can hear this. No, it's not going to do it now. Yeah, it just did it then. I take the camera away, it bubbles. Hmm, must be seven minutes now, at least. <coughs>
Say hello to YouTube, Tiggy. Little Tiger. Out, oh, Tiggy. Poisons. Now we're coming up to the 13 minute mark of this movie. I'll um, cut it when it gets to 13 and um, leave it running. And then I'll um, come back in and say how long it's been. Okay, I'll get back. Hi again, I'm back. It's about to run out. It's been nine minutes since I cut the video and there we are I'll take it off and um, see what the voltage bounce back is That's about 0.5 of a bolt. I'll hook the motor up and we'll see the drop in, drop in voltage. And in fact it doesn't run. Oh yeah, sort of. So I think it ran for around about 25 minutes, maybe a bit more, on two hours, being charged at two volts. I'll try a rapid charge, I'll turn the power supply up a bit.